So now we'll start with the fourth problem. Fourth problem has got extension from your second problem. So in your second problem, we dealt with only the basics of apportionment. In fourth problem, we are going to have both apportionment as well as reapportionment. Akash Limited has four departments A, B, C, and D. Departments A, B, and C are production departments. Department D is service department. The actual expenses for the month of April 2014 are as follows. So we have rent, depreciation of machinery, supervision charges, electric power, repairs of machinery, contribution to ESI, fire insurance on building, lighting, and indirect materials with regards to A, it is 1200, B, 1000, C, 750, and D, 500. The following information is available regarding the departments mentioned. So, what did I tell you in the previous video? This table is going to help you to write basis of apportionment column as well as ratio column. So, what do you do? You take a pencil, first calculate the ratios for every item. For area, you calculate the ratio. The ratio would be 15 is to 11 is to 9 is to 5. For number of employees, the ratio would be 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 3. For direct wages, please make sure you do not incur, you do not write direct expenses, any of the direct labor or direct wages and direct expenses in your distribution summary. Only you are going to write your direct expenses for service department. Please make sure you are not writing the direct expenses of production department for the overhead distribution summary. Only the service department's direct expenses will be involved in the distribution summary. Value of plant, it would be, the ratio would be 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1. Then value of uh, stock, again it would be, uh, you know, 3 is to, 5 is to 3 is to 2. Then horsepower of machinery, it is 24, 18, 12 and 6, which is nothing but 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1. So this table immediately, as soon as you read this table, the first thing that you are going to do is take a pencil, find the ratio and this particular column is going to be helpful for you for basis of apportionment. Apportion the expenses to various departments on the basis, on the most equitable basis and reapportion. Please underline reapportion. As soon as you find reapportion in your problem, you underline it and immediately you should know that you are going to do two tables. One is primary distribution, secondary distribution. As soon as you get reapportionment in your problem, it is with the two tables. First table would be primary distribution summary. Second table would be secondary distribution summary. And reapportion the department expenses to production departments in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. So what did they tell? Reapportion. The name itself tells. Reapportion is where the entire service department expenses is going to be distributed among production department and this would be done in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. And reapportion is secondary distribution. Apportionment would be primary distribution. So let's get started. First and foremost, statement showing apportionment of overheads of service department and production department. So first and foremost, the first step would be primary distribution summary. Within the brackets, you are going to write it as primary distribution summary. Primary distribution summary. So primary distribution summary and a primary distribution summary as I have already told you. First you are writing the direct expenses. All the direct expenses has to be written but here we are going to write only for service department. So direct expense of service department is 20,000 D. We are concentrating only on D here because D is the only service department. Rest all are production departments. So what will be the total amount? 20,000. Next, the next item, 
Now, what I would suggest you is, you just write all the, uh, you know, expenses as they have given. So, what have they given? They have given rent. After rent, they have uh, given depreciation on machinery. So, rent, the total amount is 10,000. Depreciation, the total amount is 4,500. Then, supervision charges, the amount is 15,000. Next, electric power. Electric power, the charges are 9,000. Then, repairs to machinery. Repairs to machinery. Repairs of machinery, 6,000. Then, Contribution to ESI, contribution to ESI. So, contribution to ESI is 1500. Next, fire insurance, fire insurance of building, it is 5000. Lighting, 1200. Lighting is 1200. Next, Indirect materials. Indirect materials they have given. They have given department wise, isn't it? So indirect materials is given and how much? It is thousand two hundred for A. Then it is thousand for B seven fifty for C and five hundred for D. Right? So, whatever I have done here is just I have listed all the expenses. Indirect material they have given department wise. So, I have written as per the department. Now, let's start apportionment. So, I have already told you the table is going to help you for apportionment. Now, for rent, the rent, the basis for apportionment would be area. Because based on the area, you would be charged with the rent, isn't it? Smaller the area, smaller would be the rental charges. Larger the area, la more will be the rental charges. So, it would be a direct proportion between the space occupied and the rental expenses. So, basically, rent would be apportioned on the basis of area. And what is the um, proportion or ratio? So, ratio would be 15 is to 11 is to 9 is to 5. 15 is to 11 is to 9 is to 5. So, which means it is going to be 10,000 into 15 divided by what would be the total? 26, 33, 38. So, 15 divided by 38. So, 10,000 into 15 divided by 38. 10,000 into 11 divided by 38. 10,000 into 9 divided by 38. 10,000 into 5 divided by 38. So, it is going to be 3,750. 2750, 2250, and 1250. Next, depreciation of machinery. The basis for apportionment would be value of plant. Because based on the uh, plant valuation, your depreciation would always have an impact. So, what would be the basis? It would be value of plant, and the ratio would be. 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1. So your value of plant is 2,40,000, 1,80,000, 1,20,000 and 60. So if you convert this into simplest ratio, it, it would be 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1. So we have taken the same ratio here. And the amount would be 1,800, 1,350, 900, 450. Next, supervision charges. Supervision charges, it is on the basis of number of employees. Please go through the basis of apportionment. Your problem will be half solved. So, number of employees, the ratio would be 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 3. So, how many employees? 20, 15, 10, 15. So, if you convert it into simplest ratio, it is 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 3. And 15,000 into 4 divided by 
12, 15,000 into 3 divided by 12, 15,000 into 2 divided by 12, 15,000 into 3 divided by 12. So, 4 is for A, isn't it? So, the amount would be 5,000, 3,750, 2,500, 3,750. Next, electric power. Of course, I have already solved this type. Horsepower of machinery. So, electric power would be on the basis of horsepower, you know, horsepower of machinery. Again, the ratio would be 4 is 2, 3 is 2, 2 is 2, 1. So, 9,000 into 4 divided by 10. So, that would be around 3,600. 2700, 1800 and 900. So if you apportion, if you distribute 9000 in 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1 ratio, it would be 3600 for A, 2700 for B, 1800 for C and 900 for D. 9000 into 4 divided by 10, 3600. 9000 into 3 divided by 10, 2700. Likewise, I have done for other two departments. Next, repairs. Repairs of machinery. Again, you are going to do it on the basis of value of plant. So, value of plant, that would be like 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1. So, value of plant total value here is 6000 so 2400 1800 then 1200 600 next contribution to esi esi is nothing but social security benefits social security benefits are given to employees so therefore contribution to esi the basis of apportionment would be number of employees number of employees so, what is the ratio? We have already calculated for number of employees. What is the ratio? It is 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 3. So, if it is 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 3, then it would be 500, 375, 250, 375. Right? Next. Fire insurance, again fire insurance is given for area, right? So, fire insurance, the basis of apportionment would be area and it is again 15 is to 11 is to 9 is to 5. And the apportionment would be 1875, 1375. 1,125, 625. Next, lighting. Of course, lighting, fire insurance, all these are given for the building and the building is again, it is on the area. So, therefore, the basis of apportionment would be area. Lighting, usually the basis of apportionment for lighting would be light points, number of light points. Since we don't have number of light points in this particular problem, since it's not given, we are going to take it on the basis of area. So, it is 1200 and again we are going to take the same ratio 15 is to 11 is to 9 is to 5 and the amount would be 450, 330, 270, 150. So, with this, next indirect material, they have given department wise. So, we don't have to again apportion it. So, we have been given with a department wise expenses. So, with this, we have to total the primary distribution summary. Total the primary distribution summary. The total amount stands to 72,200. 
So for department A, it is 20,575. For department B, it is 15,430. For department C, it is 11,045. For department D, it is 28,600. So with this, we have done, we are done with the primary distribution summary. So the first step in this problem is primary distribution summary. Apportionment is with regards to primary distribution summary where we are taking all the expenses. We are taking the help of table for basis of apportionment. We have taken the respective amount under every expense and on the basis of apportionment, we have found out the ratio as per the given values in the table and with the help of the ratio we have apportioned every amount to the respective departments after finding all the apportionment we have totaled all the departments expenses only the service departments direct expenses have to be taken for primary distribution not the production department i repeat the direct expenses of service department alone must be taken for the primary distribution. Now, the second step would be secondary distribution. So, please make sure this four columns end result, the total of A, B, C and D. These figures are very, very important. This forms the basis for your second step. That is secondary distribution summary. So, the secondary distribution step two, you can take down the heading statement showing reapportionment of service department statement showing reapportionment re reapportionment of costs of service department to production department so what do you call it as soon as you see reapportionment you are going to find out secondary distribution Reapportionment is secondary distribution. So again, the columns would be same, similar to your first uh, uh, method. But the only difference here would be the ratio. You don't have to give a column for ratio. Because we are not going to apportion. We are just reapportioning this service department to production department. So we don't have to find out ratio. We don't really, uh, you know, uh, need that ratio column. So other things remains the same. One is items of overhead. Next basis of apportionment. Next total. After that the production departments A, B and C. Then service department D. So the columns would be same. Exception is for the ratio column. Do not include the ratio column for your secondary distribution right so now we have found out the expenses for primary i mean the expenses departmental wise under primary distribution now we'll start with the secondary distribution as soon as you write reapportionment of costs of service department to production department you are writing it as secondary distribution summary or secondary distribution statement the columns would be items of overhead Basis of apportionment, total, production department A, B, C, service department D. After this, first you are going to write cost as per primary distribution. So in like in the previous problem, cost as per primary distribution. How much is the cost? The cost is for A, it is 20,575. We have found out the result of the first table. 20,575 for B it is 15,430 for C it is 11,045 for D it is 28,600. Now we are going to reapportion. This is apportionment. Now we are going to reapportion the service department expenses to production department. So next uh, heading would be apportionment or cost of service department to production department and they have mentioned that in the problem so what have they mentioned it should be on the basis of or it should be on the 
equitable basis and the ratio is 3 is to 2 is to 1. So reapportion secondary distribution on the basis of 3 is to 2 is to 1. And what is the total value we have found out? It is 72,200. Right? So this amount you are going to write it here. 72,200. And now this 28,600 would be reapportioned to A, B and C on the basis of 3 is to 2 is to 1. So which means 28,600 service department expenses would be distributed among production department on the basis of 3 is to 2 is to 1 and this 3 is to 2 is to 1 is given in your problem. So therefore when you uh, distribute 28,600 into 3 divided by 6 it would be 14,300. Again if you distribute n2 divided by 6 then it would be 9,533. If it is 28,600 into 1 divided by 6, it is 4,767. So, please make sure you are rounding off your decimals. And if you have any difference, if it is greater than 5, you round it off. If it is less than, less than 5, you keep the amount as it is. Simple mathematics. So, this would negate... 28,600 under column D, right? So, 28,600 which happens to be the expense of service department D is distributed among production departments A, B and C in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1 and the total amount of D department is 28,600 and we have reapportioned in 3 is to 2 is to 1 which stands out to be 14,300, 9,533, 4,767 respectively. So if I have taken the entire 28,600, I have got nothing under D department. So we are nullifying it. And later, we are going to find out the total. The total, the total would be 1,625. 34,875, 24,963, 15,812 and you make sure that your service department is nil. Only then you have reapportioned it. If your service department has got amount, then you have not distributed the total expenses to your production department. So always make sure under secondary distribution, your service department amount column should be nil at the end of the statement. So after this, you are going to uh, re-verify it. So you can re-verify it. You can total these three. You have to get the service department's total. So therefore, in this problem, we have got two steps. One is primary distribution statement, secondary distribution statement. If primary distribution is done on the basis of apportionment. After doing that, you total all the columns. After totaling, the total that you get under every department becomes the basis for your secondary distribution. So your second step would be reapportionment of cost from service department to production department. So write the cost as per production as per the primary distribution. You are going to take the total of your first step as it is, just copy paste it in your first step. Then second point would be cost of service department to production department. And in this problem, they have already mentioned you the ratio. So that's, that would be the basis of apportionment. After that, you are going to apportion it, total it, and you are going to distribute even your service department expenses to production department. So this is the similar problem that you are going to find in problem number 5. So problem number 5, here the extension is X and Y. So make sure that X department is distributed only for production departments. Y, uh, y service department is distributed again only for production department. Don't distribute again for service department in your secondary distribution. So problem number 5 is similar to the problem number 4.
and again disha limited problem number 8 so problem number 8 is also similar but we are going to do it under different methodology so which i would be doing in the next video uh, so problem number 8 would be done in the next video thank you